glad you joined me today. So we're going to be playing a fun game with words. We are going to be changing words into new words by just changing one sound. So I want you to be really listening carefully and you're going to have to put on your thinking cap so you know what to do. Pull it down, push that hair away like I do. Pull it down over your head. Tie it really tight around your chin. Pull it tight. And that way you can use those listening ears so that you can hear when I'm asking you questions. So I'm going to be asking you to tell me sounds, tell me the words, and maybe tell me a definition or use a word in a sentence. Okay? You're going to do a great job today. Okay, so last time you were with me, we were working on some words for this new book we're going to read, A Bed. And as you can see, I've got my bed right behind me so that you know the words we're working on today are going to be really helpful when we're reading about a bed. Okay, so when we were together last time, we read this word. Do you remember what this word is? This was the word bed, just like I have my bed back here. Bed, just like the word we're going to have in our book for the bed book. Okay, so we have the word bed. And we want to change the word bed to a new word. The new word we want to make is the word red. Red. Can you say red? Good job. Red. Now, what is red? Do you see what I wore today? I wore this red shirt so that you could see the color red. Do you have something red on? Look, look at your body. Look at maybe someone else in your house. Does anybody else have red on? Or do you see red? Great, red. I have a red shirt on today, just for you. Okay, so we're gonna change bed to red. Which of these sounds do we get rid of for the word red? One of these sounds we don't need. Bed, and we're making red. This is a sound we don't need any longer. Great job. If you said this sound, you were absolutely right. We don't need this sound anymore. I don't need that. So now I want to make the new word. Red. So what's the sound I need for the word red? Red. What sound's coming out of my lips when I say red? Red. Good job. If you said r, you were right. Now can you find the sound r, r? Good. If you pointed here, you were right. R. Let's say it as we bring it down. R -r -r -r. Now, let's check the sounds and blend them together. Ready? R -e -d. What's the word? Red. Great job. Now, we're going to change another sound. The next sound I want you to pick, okay? So, the next word we're going to make is the word rod. Rod. Can you say rod? What is a rod? Hmm, that's kind of a tricky word. Can you use rod in a sentence? I'm going to show you my rod and then you might have an idea. So this is a rod. A rod can be a long bar kind of thing. So this is a rod. This is a fishing rod because I could fish with it. But if it didn't have the fishing part on it, it could still be a rod. I could use a rod to hang a curtain if you've ever heard of a curtain rod. Okay? So this is my fishing rod. I will fish with this rod. Good job. Okay. Now, let's see. What sound do we need to change to make red into Rod. Rod. What sound do we want to get rid of? 
Good job. Did you say this sound? If you said this, you were right. We don't need that sound. So what's the new sound we need for rod? Say the word rod for me. Good job. And what sound do we need for rod? Good. If you said ah, you were right. Ah is the sound we need. Can you point to that sound? Great job. If you said this, you were right. Let's say it as we pull it down. Ah. Uh, great. Now, check and blend. Ready? Let's check them. R. Ah. Uh, D. Say the whole word. Blend it together. Rod. What's the word? Rod. Very nice. One more word we're going to make. We've got the word rod. Now we're going to make the word rot. Hmm. Rot. What does rot mean? Hmm. Rot. Have you heard that word before? Rot. Well, it's kind of another tricky one. So I brought something to show you. So when something is rotten, you might have a piece of fruit or something that has gone bad, so it will rot. So this was an apple a couple days ago that Russell ate. And after Russell ate the apple, I said, I'm going to hold on to the end of it. And we waited for a couple days, and now it rotted. It got old and yucky. So something that rots gets old and gets brown on it, and you'll say, it's rotten. Have you ever heard someone say, that's rotten? That means it has rot and gotten old. You'll have to think if you ever see something at your house or outside that has gotten rotten, and that means it rot. It got old, it got dark and yucky. Okay, so we've got the word rod, and we want to make rot. What sound do we not need any longer? Point to it for me. Great job. You were right if you said the last sound we don't need any longer. So what's the new sound we need for rot? Rot. I think you said it. Great job. T is the new sound we need. So we're going to take that sound and we're going to pull it down and say it. Now, I want you to check each sound and blend it for me. Ready? Let's see if you can do it by yourself. I'll point to them again. Ready? And blend it. Good job. I'm going to do it with you now. Ready? R, A, T, rot. Did you say rot? If you said rot, you were right. Our word is rot. The apple will rot if I keep it out even longer. It will rot some more and just get older and blacker and darker and yuckier. Okay, so our word was rot. So you did a fantastic job today. We had the word bed and we made it the word red. And then we took red and we changed it and made the word rod, like my fishing rod. And then we took rod and we made it rot. Great job today. You made a lot of new words and you blended the sounds really good into new words. So that is going to be a big help when we read the book, A Bed. So I will see you really soon to play some more games and read our new book, a bed. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here really soon. Bye.